A question that I find myself having to answer frequently is, why ZBrush? Why not Fusion or some other program that was made specifically for doing these kinds of operations? And so I thought I'd make a video on why I believe ZBrush is the best tool for doing concept design. So anyone who's worked in 3D knows that all 3D softwares have constraints. Whether it's topology or the software has a rigid way of going about doing operations, 3D is filled with these creative barriers that you constantly have to hop over to achieve your desired result. Envious of the freedom 2D artists have, I wanted to find a software that gave me the same freedom. And ZBrush, being a sculpting software, meant that all of the ways we usually think about doing hard surface would be flipped on its head. No longer would I need to press a button for a fillet. I could just manually smooth it in without constraints. Making a cut line could be done in seconds by simply drawing it in instead of setting up a boolean that potentially needs to cut across different axes, or God forbid, cutting into your topology and having to do cleanup. And then Shapiro and I hate topology. ZBrush allows you to doodle in 3D, loosely sketching a concept, then cleaning it up into a presentable model, all in the same place. Designing a weapon grip is a perfect example of the limitations in other softwares. Trying to make a weapon grip in Poly or CAD is purely technical. Whether it's doing topology for 90% of the time or setting up splines, it takes away your freedom to explore. And as a designer, we want tools that enable exploration, not stunt it. In ZBrush, you can sculpt the grip like it were clay. Easy, intuitive, and flexible. The way 3D should be. If you find yourself in a constant battle with your tools, then the tools are broken. In this tutorial, I will go through a new tool set, one that works for you, not against you.